guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this kind of gold glittery um, eye look with red lips. It's perfect for the holiday season, so I think I'm going to be calling this my holiday party look. I think it's really versatile um, and it's like something new, you know. I don't think you do this kind of look every single day, so it's special for the holidays. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to know how I did this look, just continue watching. Bye. So I already have on my foundation and I just used my Estee Lauder Double Wear because I want to make sure that this makeup is going to stay on all night long. And I already did my eyebrows as well using my Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I'm definitely really sorry about the shape that my eyebrows are in. I'm just letting them grow. I'm going to get them done this week. So that's really good news. So now that you guys are a little bit more up close and personal, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyelids. I haven't finished my face yet um, because I know that there's going to be fallout, so I'm just going to wait. Um, I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but this is in the color Candlelight. So it's a little bit, um, it has like a little bit of a tint to it, like a champagne tint. And yeah, it's just going to add to the shimmeriness of this uh, eyeshadow look. So with the Too Faced All of My Favorite Things palette, I'm just going to go in with a, just like a regular brown. This is a really cool tone brown. It's called Woolen Mittens. And I'm going to be using a pencil E30 brush just to map out where my crease is going to be. Um, sorry to scare you guys, but I have to zoom you in a little bit more so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So yeah, with that Woolen Mittens, I'm just going to map my crease out like so as you can see it's totally not blended and I'm not worrying about that right now and I'm just gonna be doing the same thing so now with the cream color base from MAC this is in the color pearl I'm just gonna be using this brush from the Morphe brushes synthetic line um, and I'm just gonna be applying this all over my lids if you have really oily eyelids I definitely don't recommend this product um, I would just use like a paint paw or a NYX jumbo eye pencil okay and now that's all over my lids I'm just gonna be layering some half baked from the classic naked palettes is it this one yeah it's this one right over here on top of that with the same brush no need to change the brush so now with this brush from Morphe Brushes, this is, um, it doesn't have a number, but it's a really thin blending brush. Um, I'm just going to start blending the brown that I put in my crease. And you just want to make sure that that's really blended in. So once your crease is blended, I'm just going to keep adding more brown. Um, now I'm going to go in with a darker color. I'm going in with Handwritten from MAC. This is a really, really dark brown and I think it goes gorgeously in the crease. I'm going to be using that same pencil brush that I was using, this time with a lighter hand because it is really dark. And just kind of going over what I did and cutting the crease. And then I'm going to be going in with my blending brush and just blending that out. So keep adding more and blending. Blended. I'm just going to be going in back with Half Baked just to touch up that color. And this is also going to help that brown mix in a little bit better. Um, kind of blend all the colors together. And then I'm going to go in with Half Baked underneath my eye quite messily. Um, I just want that really nice haze of gold. And then with MAC um, Venetian Tarnish, this was limited edition. I think I got this like two years ago. Um, any bronze will do. I'm just going to go in with the pencil brush and put that on underneath my eye. Okay. 
So now I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit. I'm using my Morphe brushes, the same one I was using to apply the eyeshadow. I'm going to wet it a little and add some um, MAC glitter. I have no idea what this is. So with the wet brush, I'm just going to apply the glitter all over my lid. And it's okay if a lot falls out because I haven't done my concealer yet. I'm just going to reapply right here. So now with my Morphe Brushes Liquid Eyeliner and my Morphe Brushes Angled Tiny Brush, I'm just going to be lining my eyes. This eyeliner is amazing, you guys. If you are a fan of liquid eye, not liquid, gel eyeliner, get this. Um, I'm going to be doing a wing. So I start off with the edge and just go all the way in. so hard to do on camera. Now I understand what all the gurus say when they say I can't do my eyeliner on camera because I feel so price and mascara. I'm just using their Rio from Benefit. I got this for my birthday from Sephora. So yeah, I'm just, I am going to be adding fake lashes, so. And I'm just going to be using number 42 from Miss Adoro. Um, and I'm using my dual eyelash glue to apply these. Okay, so while my eyelash glue is drying, I'm just going to finish up my face makeup. I'm going to be using this palette from Morphe Brushes. It's just a um, highlight and contour palette. Um, I didn't conceal under my eyes, but I do have foundation. I'm just going to be using a Sigma, what is this called, foundation F60 brush to use um, to put on this makeup. I'm going to be using this color right over here underneath my eyes because it has kind of like a um, peachy tone and you literally need the tiniest amount of this and it just covers dark circles so nicely. Just going to do the same to the other eye. I don't do this every single day, but um, since this is kind of like a party makeup, it's appropriate. <laughs> and then with this color right over here, this is a lighter color and it's more of like a yellow tone, so it's not so peachy. I'm going to go in on the top bridge of my nose just a little bit, middle of my forehead, chin and Cupid's bow. And I didn't, I applied a very thin layer of foundation on because I knew I was going to be doing this. You don't want to be too caked on or else it'll show. And then with a Morphe brushes, this is a buffing brush. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it just looks like that. I'm just going to blend that. I'm just going to set everything with my Chanel translucent, translucent, translucent powder and my Sonia Kashuk powder brush. Um, just go underneath my eyes and make sure that that concealer is set. Now with my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced, I'm going to be using more of like a fluffier brush and this is a MAC 129 I think. And I'm just going to be going over my contour and kind of just blending that out a little bit, going on my temples. And doing the same to the other. And then for blush, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized um, Blush in the color Warm Soul. I am going to be doing a red lip, so this is an awesome color to use. It really complements red lips. Um, I know sometimes it's hard for me to find a blush that looks good with red lips. And I'm just using a Sigma Large Angled Contour. And the number is a F40. Now for an actual highlight, I'm going to be using Benefit's What's Up. Um, this is what it looks like. This was the little baby one they gave me 
for my birthday and I've never used this so I don't really know how it's gonna look but we shall see. And some red lip liner. This is from NYX and it's called Hot Red. And now that I have my lips filled in, um, I'm just going to go in with some Riri Vu by MAC. And just kind of go over the lip liner. And here's the finished look. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my holiday um, party look, I guess, is what you can call it. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any requests, please leave them down below. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!